Hi everyone, it's Joe Whedon. How are you going? I'm an Australian Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Melbourne, Australia, and I'd like to say thanks to Stephanie for allowing me to participate in this wonderful resource of sharing card making and learning about other people in our amazing world. Before I continue, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this country, which for which we are gathered on today and every day, whether that be foot on land or wireless inter interactions. We acknowledge that these lands, waters and airways are the homes of our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander brother and sisters. Respectfully, we honour them for allowing us to conduct business on their beautiful country. So let's get into making some cards. As I said, I'm from Melbourne, Australia, uh, and I am currently studying Auslan, the language of those who are deaf and in their community, it's their way of communication. Auslan, A-U-S-L-A-N, stands for Australian Sign Language, and I am studying that this year. Uh, after doing a disability course last year. So learning this language has been incredible. It's it's nothing like English for those that believe it might be. Uh, it's completely different, has its own um, syntaxes, its own everything. It's an incredible language. So uh, I think everybody should know Auslan. It's certainly something that everyone else would benefit from as well. Uh, and being bilingual or trilingual in our community is a wonderful thing in the multicultural areas that we all live in now. So let me show you how I'm planning on using Auslan in the cards that I'm going to make today. Before I put these away, I'm going to be using Turtle Friend, this little heart uh, shape here, stamp I should say, and lighthearted lines. I'm going to use this one here. I hate to break it to you, but you're stuck with me. Friends forever. Okay, so I've cut up and prepared a few things beforehand so that this doesn't go on for too long um, and run over my time. So here's our card base of Daffodil Delight. Actually, let me get this one that's already prepared. Daffodil Delight. And that's simply an A4 card sheet cut down the middle. Uh, and then I actually cut it off at 14 and a half centimetres so that it fits into our C6 envelopes comfortably. I've then cut a piece of crumb cake uh, cardstock, half a centimetre smaller. So this is going to be 10 by 14 centimetres long or wide. And this is going to be placed on a flat surface. <laughs> and placed on top of my card front like this. Leaving the half a centimetre around all of my card. Now I've also used the textured embossing folder and I've run that through already. The I've run that through the cutting and embossing machine um, the only thing I did do was to run it through with the tape on it already. So it's actually taking a bit to come off, but that's okay. It's working now. <laughs> so placing that in the middle again, just as I did with the other piece and adhering it down, especially given that it's gone through the embossing machine. So we want to make sure that it's nice and, um, adhered to the cardstock really well. Okay, so what I've gone ahead and done as well is I went on the internet and I found a few different signs, one-handed Auslan signs. And this one here, obviously like this, whether you're left or right-handed, uh, facing towards the person you're talking to, is a universal sign for I love you. So I've seen this in American shows, I've seen it in other international shows. It generally is a universal sign for I love you. I have done some others as well. Um, I've got another 
There's some other signs as well, but I'm predominantly working with this one at the moment. So I printed that out and backed it onto some cardstock so that then that is my template. And then what I've done is cut it out, fussy cut it out onto some cardstock and then used our markers to cut around the edges, uh, sorry, to draw around the edges as well to give it a bit of detail also, just so that it's not sort of so blank, which it, I have on another card, but you'll see what I mean. So in time, I'm going to place this down on the front of my card. Now I'm not going to do that as yet, simply because I want to put my sentiment in the right place first. So let's prepare that. As I said, I'm using this part. I hate to break it to you, but you're stuck with me. So in order to do that, I'm going to only stamp the top part of that stamp. Not getting any on the bottom here on the Friends Forever. And stamping that cleanly. I'm going to do that again, <laughs> just to make sure that it's actually really crisp. There we go. Much better. So cutting that out, I'm now going to put that onto uh, a mat essentially and I'll layer it in the same way that I've done my card so that means that this will go onto a piece of crumb cake because that's what I've used my hand coloring for so you'll find with the cards that I show you that I've got uh, a mat of natural colors because I wanted to use skin tones for the hands rather than sort of making it something that's that hand you know colors that the hands are not so they will the skin color tones will uh, recur in my cards okay let's place that down like that and once again, I'm going to allow a 0.5 centimeter border on the piece of cardstock, but that will actually only be a quarter of a centimeter on each side of my cardstock. And I've done that on the wrong color. Nobody told me. So I'm going to take that off. and put it onto here. Gosh, just make it real, hey? So I can't wait to watch other people's presentations and learn about the other parts of our worlds uh, and what other presenters have been able to offer. Uh, and teach us. I think it's such a wonderful thing. Uh, and to be able to share this later on with everybody else will be fantastic. So building this up again, I'm now going to put this onto some yellow. Ooh, I wonder if this one's going to work that I've just cut down. Yes, it will. And then I'll put this up on dimensionals also. Uh, just so that it's got a little bit of definition uh, against the rest of the card. Make sure you put one in the middle of the cardstock. That's so that when it's posted, your sentiment doesn't um, bow in the middle because it's it's been crushed by all the mail that's going around. So if you put one in the middle, it means that the sentiment will remain standing up strong. 
Okay, place that down there. Now on the back here, I have made my very own action wobbler. Can you see that? It's just a piece of the word window. Uh, I think it's about three and a half centimeters long. And then I have marked it three and a half by 0.8 of a centimeter. And then I have scored it every half centimeter and zigzagged it. Can you see that against my hand? Oh, there you go, that's better. And then it's simply a matter of using a glue dot on either side. So I've got one already on the hand and then placing it on the very bottom of that zigzag. I tend to stand up to do this. You do need to be aware of the slack that your zigzag is going, your action wobbler is going to give you because you might actually find that when you're holding your hand, the hand, it actually sits differently to how you want it on the card. See what I mean? So once I've placed it like that, that's actually not how I want it. So you're going to want to move it around so that it sits the way that you want it to. <clears throat> you are this isn't working. So using another glue dot. I'm going to put it up slightly higher to how it was. There we go. And then you just reinforce those folds once it's placed where you want it to. Simply close that down like that. See how I've got the zigzag closed? And then that sits better. There you go. So that when you actually give it to somebody, it's moving. In the middle, I will then also emulate what I've done in the middle of my car, in the front of my car, I beg your pardon. So I'll do the same layers. the crumb cake and then the very vanilla which I love I think very vanilla gets a bit overlooked it needs to be used a lot more I believe gorgeous and it softens things I think it takes away that real stark look that our basic white can give sometimes and then just cleaning that stamp that we've used and ensuring that it's dry, we're going to ink up the last part, the Friends Forever. Onto our card. Now using our grid paper is a really good idea that makes you Keep your stamps straighter than perhaps without using them. There we go. There we are. So I'm still going to fold this back a little bit just to sort of make sure that it stands. There you go, that's better. See how it moves? <laughs> Looks great. And then, friends forever on the inside. So let me show you what else I've made. Very similar to this one, I've made these using the Cinnamon Cider and Coastal Cabana. But this says, here's to another year of happily ever after. And you can see what I mean here when I was talking about the details. So this one, you can still tell that it's a hand, but you, can, you don't see the actual definition of the fingers. Then I've used our uh, specialty designer paper, the Expressions of Ink here, and our gold foil. 
and this pops up when you open it. And so this is the, the Auslan sign for thank you. It comes off your chin. So a bit of a thank you card for somebody special. And the last one is another sheet in the Expressions of Ink designer paper. And I've used this particular stamp. Sometimes that's all there is neat there is oh gosh. Sometimes that's all there is to say. And that I'm here for you. And so what I'm saying here is that I love you. You know, things are tough. I'm here for you. You're going to be okay. And using the gold leafing here as an accent, I've used the gold gilded leafing on my nails. Uh, so that it looks like there's some gorgeous gold fingernails there as well. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to show off some things that is important to me and within Australia. And I look forward to seeing everybody else's creations. Thanks. Have a great time. Bye.